Paul, I'd love to ask you, um, number one, you know, were there many England fans? And if there were, what sort of jubilee were they in? And I'm hearing all sorts of stories about ticketing errors. And generally, it sounds like it might be a bit of an organisational shambles there. We've spoken to England fans who have experienced problems and we've spoken to some who uh, haven't. Uh, I would have to say most of them are in a pretty jubilant mood, but don't take it from me. Let's speak to some England fans and hear from them ourselves. Uh, guys, thanks for speaking to us. Really appreciate it. First of all, how was the game today? Fantastic start. I, I, yeah, it was a really positive start. It was great to see so many, so many players score. We're not relying on Harry Kane anymore. It was really, really Any good. Any more? Or just for one game? Well, just, for, just, for one, just for one game. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, can have a rest. Yeah. 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 Hopefully he does score. But yeah. Yeah. How did you find it? Mate, you can't ask for a better first game. Six goals, what, what can you ask for? Yeah. Well, and did you guys have any problems with ticketing, getting in? Because there were some reports that people were having problems with the app. No, no we, we got in plenty of time a couple of hours early, but when we got there, we, we were concerned about the security because it was like airport-style security, so it's really slow going through. So I imagine that, you know... A lot of other fans have problems. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, and how has your experience of Qatar been so far? You guys are staying on the cruise ship. What's it like? Yeah. Uh, amazing. Yeah, five star. Brilliant. Really friendly people. It's been excellent so far. Yeah, yeah no problems whatsoever. Yeah, and what about, like, you know, they, they said that they wouldn't serve alcohol in the stadiums um, only two days before the tournament started. Has that impacted on your experience at all? Not really. The games we don't normally end up drinking in. You normally have a few beers beforehand. Uh, we probably would have had a, some today being there so early, but they stuck Budweiser at the back in non-covered tents. So, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not the it's end not of the world, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's not the yeah. end of the world. Yeah, I mean, what's your expect? How is this tournament then? In, can you talk about, I mean, you haven't been here that long, but how, can you talk about how different it's been to other World Cups you might have been to? Well, you asked these two. Yeah, these <laughs> the only two have been to a World Cup, but... Um, yeah, it, it, the fact it's all in one place is is easier to start navigating. Like we've, we've got a game in a couple of days, and we it's not far on one of the trains again. Yeah. Um, normally we finish up today, have to get in a car or train and tra travel another yeah. to another city, start yeah. again, which is quite good fun. But to the, this time we can actually relax, enjoy the heat. Yeah. Would say go for a beer, but that's not as easy. <laughs> um, yeah, and and, then, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the media and some people have been talking a lot about the issues, the, the kind of social issues that were happening before the game. The England players were, uh, uh, deciding not, or Harry Kane decided not to wear the armband because of the FIFA rules. Uh, if he gets a book in that defeats the, um, the object of coming and missing a game further on. Um, yeah. Was that were the fans talking about that a lot? Do you think it's not really up to them, is it? It's, it's politics, really. The football need to go and play football. Um, OK, they're in a position where they should be able to make a stand, I guess. But they've come here for the football. They're using that as a tool. So if they go and play football and let the media, politicians talk about yeah. it. Um, the fans come to see the football, so he'd rather Kane be playing than miss a game because he's got two yellow cards. Yeah. So, what, what do you think about the fact FIFA then said, you know, you're not just going to get fined for it, you're going to get a yellow card for it? Yeah, it's a bit poor, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, it's just, it's just not very good, I don't yeah. think, at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, all right, and you guys are off into the fan zone just over there, yeah, where well, you yeah. are going to have a beer. We are, yeah, yeah, do, you, do you know how much it is? <laughs> no, too much, too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, too much. But we knew that before we come, so yeah, yeah. we just got to... It is yeah. what it is, isn't it? So. Yeah, exa exactly, yeah. We're obviously drinking less, so we can have a chat out exactly. there. Yeah, you can properly soak in the England performance without it being affected by alcohol now. It will help yeah. Wales probably lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you guys get back to it. Thanks for okay, speaking. Yeah, really appreciate yeah. it. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, so if you want an update on the Wales game, by the way, it's uh, there's an enormous score on that score. Skyscraper, I don't know if you can make out in the distance with the American flag at the top. I can. Nil nil in the middle and then the Welsh flag at the bottom. So Lovely. there you go, that's the latest that is the latest on, on the okay. football at the moment.